Ugh. Oh boy. Looks like everyone got evacuated out in time, but... At this rate, there ain't gonna be nothing left for the citizens to come home to. Hold it right there! Where do you think you're going, Deputy? Hey, glad to see y'all alive and kicking. Uh, don't play dumb with me, Miser. I asked you a question. Just thought I'd have a little chat with the Sheriff, is all? No can do. He's past talking now, and you know it. Shucks. I was afraid of that. Say what you like about those bandits and not knots crew, but they're human. They don't deserve to be strung along like puppets. The Sheriff's controlling them as easy as breathing. How long was he planning this? And why? Whatever his reasons, we can't let you go any further, Miser. Uh, Don't make us do this! There's no way I can sit back and watch. You know that. Of course we know. We all know, Miser, but it's not like we got a choice here. We can't all be shining examples of justice like you. <laughs> Me? I'm not fit to be an example for anyone. Yeah, says the guy who's looking unflinchingly at the barrel of my gun. You're not afraid of anything, are you? I am afraid. Of course I am. But I can't be lily-livered limp-holster miser anymore. Miser! I made a promise to bear the sins of everything she's done. That's why I can't afford to stop here. I know what I have to do. Listen to reason, Miser. At this rate, you're just gonna get yourself killed. Being a sitting duck ain't gonna paint less of a target on my back. If I'm gonna go out, then it's better to... Accelerate! Ah, my gun! Sorry, I'll make it up to you next time with the rounded spurred on! Well, hell. I get why Vincent's so fond of you, but... You're biting off more than you can chew. Yeah! Hmm. Damn! For someone who doesn't have any scales, you sure got a tough hide. Hmm. Look at you, sitting there cool as ice. But no one knows better than me that every dragon's got a soft underbelly. Just one thing, son. Ah! Let me ask you one thing. I'll humor you. What do you want to know? Why do you keep fighting, knowing full well that you outmatched and outgunned? <laughs> now, the way I see it, you're a hare facing a wolf. For whatever reason, you aren't turning tail and running. Foolhardy, but admirable. What I don't understand is why you're baring your teeth and growling at a predator who can just as easily sink its jaws into your neck and tear you to pieces. Predator? <laughs> don't make me laugh, old man. I've faced worse. I've been beaten down and even died more times than I can count. Besides, I'm used to dried up geezers trying to tell me what to do. I didn't listen then, and I'm not about to start listening now! Dried up geezer. <laughs> not gonna lie, son. That hurt a little. Halt thy steps. This crap again? I admire your fortitude. Looks like we're both starting to run low on magic. I guess it's a matter of who uses up their ammo first. <laughs> Still not breaking a sweat, are you? You've got a lot of stamina for a grandpa. Why would I expend any more than the minimum energy required? From where I'm standing, the outcome's already been decided. <laughs> you see, while we're here shooting the breeze, my subordinates are sweeping through the battlefield and setting things to rights. Ha! Huh. You talk a big game, but you know what they say. The higher you fly, the harder you fall. Neil. 
Take thine own life. <sighs> that same magic again. Running out of tricks, are ya? My form becometh shadow. My feet becometh as the gale. Oh, come on. Show me something you haven't seen yet. My hands becometh flame. Yeah, I've seen that one too. Hmm. Uh. If it's new tricks you want, I'm happy to oblige. You might not be around long enough to see them all, though. Hmm. Howdy, Sheriff. Mighty rare to see y'all out on patrol like this. You... You're that whelp from earlier! Yes, I'm sorry for causing y'all trouble. And thanks for holding down the fort here. You always did have a knack for making friends. Even out of the scrappiest vomits. You're a fine deputy, miser. A deputy on probation, if you'll recall, sir. Doesn't take a detective to figure out why you're here. I'm afraid nothing you do will change the outcome, though. You might be right, but I've still got to try. Because if I see wins, there ain't a snowflake's chance in summer the world will have its happy ending. That's what I think, anyway. I'd be there to keep the peace, Miser. That don't count for much, Sheriff. Not when you can get everyone into line by pulling a few strings. I am the personification of order, son. Ain't no need for anything else in a society. Heh. <laughs> So you do know each other after all. Oh, I know all about Miser. I practically raised the boy. He's my precious deputy. But I suppose that's all in the past. Perhaps you had in your heart the notion I would be merciful with you, given our history. And you would be correct. You're a good kid with potential, Miser. There's no one I'd trust more to do the right thing. Which is why I'm willing to let you walk out of this situation unscathed. All you have to do is apologize for your transgression. I'm sorry, sir. I can't say what I don't mean. <sighs> you do know that this dance could be your last, don't you? I do, sir. I also know I've got two left feet, but I'll do my best. Besides, if I die, you'll cry yourself a river. And I don't want anyone else shedding tears on my account. They call me impulsive. You sure you want to do this? I'll do what I can as best as I can. That's all there is to it. A fine sentiment, Deputy. And I agree. We must all do what needs to be done. It's just a shame you're too late. I, Schillendrig, and I have already won. Reveil will know order once more. Not even the gods can change this outcome now. But young and idealistic bucks that you are, you don't see that the curtain's closing on this final act. Let the curtain rise on this opening act. All of Reveil is a stage, and all men merely players, dancing towards their denouement. Ugh. What do I have to do for you to go down? Oh, aren't you just precious? A little vixen looking to take down the big prize all by herself. Uh -huh. Foxfire! Shoot a 20! Where will the next blow land, I wonder? Is this a game to you? You know what happens when you play with fire! Foxfire! Gulk Sight! Such a bright blaze. Almost as bewitching as the one in your eyes. It would be a shame if someone were to say, stuff it in a box and snuff it out. No! That didn't work either! 
I'm afraid you've brought sparks when you should have brought an inferno. All the world's a stage, and when the final curtain closes, all the players, the audience, the whole kit and caboodle will bow at my feet. Well, well. Another player enters the stage. I am searching for a shilling drink. Is that right? Sorry to disappoint you, should, but you've reached a dead end. Are you my enemy? Hmm. As far as wanting to bury a shilling drink six feet under, our goals are aligned. Then there is no need to stand in my way. Need? Honey, I'll be the one to decide what I want and need. Ah! What an adorable pair of dolls you are, with your pain-warped faces and those heart-wrenching gasps. <laughs> So adorable, in fact, that I'm tempted to box you up and add you to my collection. <gasps> oh no! Into the dollhouse you go. Oh, what's this? My apologies for the brusque greeting. I sensed that you were a most formidable foe, and my blade moved of its own accord. Well, this is turning into a regular old garden party. Did you come all this way for little old me? I see you are possessed of preternatural power. But surely even you must feel the strain of having to fight so many. Not at all. I have quite the reputation for throwing the most explosive parties. A few unexpected guests aren't going to change that. You're not the first folks to try and ruin the festivities, but I'm a generous host, so I'll indulge y'all. Strike up the music and let the chorus and cannons resound. Blast away the tedium with each beat of the pain. Fires of war roar your crescendo. If you like to fight so much, why don't you fight that icy person instead? <laughs> We're in agreement there, little fox. Vincent and Icy are doing everything they can to put me in a pine box. Look around. The rabble are surrounding us as we speak, closing in for the kill. We Titans are a delicately balanced triumvirate, but they forget. If Toplin 1 was that easy, Reveal would have burned to ash long ago. How positively infuriating. Vincent's mutts have shaken off the fear that leashes them and grown far too bold. Then what is it you plan to do? Why, fulfill my God's given role, of course. The Titan of Force, ruler of might, stands before you. Now. Let me do you sweet young things a favor and teach ye all some decorum. For example, those raised in polite society know not to stand in the way of their betters. <sighs> Nothing we do is getting through to her! Some things never change, even in a new world. <sighs> what about you? Are you with us or not? I do not know. Not you too! Why is everyone in this world so hard to get through to? <sighs> Whatever. You're with us now, got it? That does make things easier for me. <laughs> oh, y'all are a hoot and a half. I do hope you've got your dancing shoes on. This stage has no audience, but no matter. We all have our roles, so let the play commence. And 
while you caper and twirl, my bullets will rain down their verdict, bringing an end to it all. Fly, my bullets, fly into the heart of the target. Farewell, fellow titans, parting is such sweet sorrow. If this world is a stage, then the end is inevitable. The day the curtain closes on this tragedy is upon us. But for the curtain to fall, this world must overcome its trial. Else we are doomed to dance for all eternity.